Capital Exclusive Analysis. In today's video, we're discussing natural gas. So big, big things to discuss in the natural gas. We are finally below these critical support pivots. Remember, these are weekly and monthly chart support zones. You know, you have monthly bottoming tails off of this area, and we're finally below that critical support zone. And we're also below the psychological whole $2 number. So what does this mean? Does this mean natural gas is going lower? Does this mean the bulls have lost and the bears are going to continue to winning? Well, let's kind of dissect the price action. Let me be clear. There's still a chance that net gas can go to 165. You do have a support level off of this trend line connecting this breakout pivot, this consolidation bounce. You could flush into 186, 185 off of this trend line, and you could even go down to 167. But in terms of optimistic bulls out there, we are at some key support. This parallel channel goes all the way back to 2020 high. Then you have a 2020 low, and then it connects with this recent rejection, and you're hitting that channel right now. It does seem the slowing is starting to abate in natural gas, and you could argue you're putting in a little bit of a falling wedge pattern on the daily chart. How you would draw that falling wedge pattern is, is simply taking two trend lines, and drawing it in like that. So again, typically falling wedge patterns at the lows of the chart are bullish. You typically get a breakout. I think there's a real shot natural gas can actually break out to the upside in the near term. I think we are kind of in a position here where natural gas can have a move back up to say this 224 resistance, and then maybe it could come back down and flush to 170. But I do think we're at some decent support here where natural gas can get a little bit of an intraday bounce. So if you've been underwater in your trade, it's certainly not been an easy one for the bulls on the long side. But uh, this is just a prime example to treat commodities with respect. Because whenever you go in at one technical level with your full port, that's typically when things burn you. And specifically, this natural gas will burn you. So let's assume we get a bounce from this level all the way up. You're talking about a 12.76% move. That's certainly enough for a little bit of a swing trade scalp, in my opinion. So I think that natural gas does have a little bit of a move up off of this level while keeping in mind that it can still fall to 169 on the chart as per my calculated downside. And that would indicate still about a potential 15% drop. Can your portfolio handle another 15% drop? You always have to think of the downside risk. Don't think about the upside reward. Always think, am I position too heavy? If it were to drop 15%, can I dollar cost average or is my position too big? So just be mindful about how you trade this one because as much as it is oversold, this commodity has a tendency to make extreme moves in both directions. On that note, thank you all for being subscribers and viewers. Please give this video a like down below. And definitely check out my tradingcapital.ca to see how I'm trading natural gas in the Widowmaker.